Book three, chapter 11 of A Tale of Two Cities is called Dusk. As the courtroom empties, Lucy asks to hold her husband one more time. Wrapping her in his arms, Charles Darnay tells her they'll meet again, then sends his daughter a blessing and a kiss. Lucy laments she will not last long without him, and she will pray their daughter finds friends, as she did, to support her when Lucy is gone. Dr. Manette approaches, about to fall to his knees before them. Darnay tells him he has no reason to kneel, and that the paper gave them a new understanding of the horrors he went through, and how hard it was for the doctor to accept Darnay, knowing who he really was. Dr. Manette lets loose an agonized shriek. Darnay is led away. Lucy gives him a loving, comforting smile. Then Lucy turns to her father and faints. Sidney Carton carries her to a coach and lays her on the seat. When they get home, Carton lowers Lucy to a couch to be taken care of by Miss Pross. Little Lucy throws herself at Carton to embrace him, begging him to save her mother and father. Carton gives her mother a kiss with her permission and whispers to her, a life you love. Then he asks Dr. Manette to use his influence again to try to save Darnay, but recognizes that it is probably futile. As Carton is leaving, Lori whispers to him that the prisoner will perish. There is no real hope. Lucy fights to be strong here in this agonizing moment, and while she says goodbye with tremendous grace, soon she can't hold on any longer and falls to the ground, overwhelmed with shock and grief. As for Darnay, his reaction to the doctor shows what a truly good man he is and reinforces the idea that all along he's wanted to turn his family heritage around and follow his mother's wishes that he be a force for good and peace. He's extremely sympathetic to Dr. Manette's plight and lets the doctor know how moved he is by the doctor's suffering and his subsequent recovery journey in putting his love for Lucy and for her happy life before his own revulsion towards the Evermond family. Speaking of putting Lucy's happy life above all else, Carton now knows what he has to do. His statement to Lucy as he kisses her is a goodbye and a gift. He wishes fervently that the doctor can change the sentence, but in his heart, he knows it's not possible. So he proceeds with his plan, which still has not been completely revealed to the reader.